Welcome back to segment number two in our series called A Fascinating Conspiracy of Factors. And we're talking about right now the place humanity has brought itself to, to which, whatever, whatever the proper grammar is there. So uh, we're talking about this vantage point, this platform, this plateau, this high mountain peak or high watermark, whatever you want to call it, where humanity is right now, where we are asked for in a new way, in a unique way, to create and intentionally create our experience of the world, right? So we're moving from a long, long period of history. Uh, early on, we started out as unconsciously innocent, right? So just sort of not very aware, sort of like a baby uh, waking up to itself in the world. And then we moved into a period where we became consciously not innocent or consciously complex, where we viewed the world as a complex and dangerous place. And then we're moving, from my perspective, we're moving back into a place of, of conscious innocence, of conscious beauty and intentional creation. But from my perspective, one of the big factors that's leading us up to that place is the death of the sky god. And what I mean by that is that throughout human history, the idea of God, or gods, as the case may be, has ruled the land, has ruled government, has ruled the way the tribes and the nations of earth have interacted with each other and have ruled themselves, have governed themselves. We are at a place in human history where, although many people would say, yes, I do believe in God, most people, if they were really pressed, would say, ah, I don't believe in God that way. I don't believe in that God. Um, I really don't know what I believe when it comes right down to it. So what I mean by that is we have this crumbling of religion as a powerful force. Now, if you want a real quick look at the idea of religion, the word religion, it, there are two words, re and legare, the Latin meaning to re-relate or to rebind, to bind again, to bring together. And properly understood, the idea of religion is to re-relate the worlds of the material and the unseen to bring together those parts of ourselves which we can touch and feel and experience with the physical self and those parts of ourselves uh, which lie above or beyond us in, in terms of being invisible and not tangible. And unless you're just a thoroughgoing atheist, in which case I respect that, but unless you are, you'll probably agree that there are aspects of ourselves which we cannot simply explain through the concept of materialism. But Having said that, we are still brought to a place as human beings now where we don't really know what to do with our God, with our religion, because uh, science, and this is one of the big factors, one of the factors which brings us here, right? We're going to talk about that later. But science and technology have brought us to a place where we no longer uh, believe in this sort of cosmic bully who we have to appease sort of the, the great mafia dawn in the sky where if we pay, as long as we pay our vig and we obey and we stay in line, we do what he says to do, then we're going to be safe and he'll take care of us. So we don't have a cosmic Don Corleone anymore, but we don't really know what we have, frankly. So that leaves humanity at a place, at a jumping off point, where we are asked to understand uh, the invisible and the universal in a whole different way. But from my perspective, that also leaves us in a sort of confusing spot for most people. Because on one hand, while they'll say, yes, I do believe in a higher power, I do believe in God, and I think that these ideas are becoming much more widespread, where people are losing the need for an individual uh, monolithic figure, uh, they're becoming more accepting of, of the idea that God is in everything and in, in everyone, but still there are these vestigial uh, roots and these feelings that we don't really know what to do with, these things which weigh upon humanity. And so that's one of the factors from my perspective which leads to this great confusion and it also leads to uh, a place where we now have an opportunity to set ourselves up in a new way. But that leads, obviously, when you open that door, it leaves a lot of uncertainty. And one thing many people, most people, let's face it, we are hardwired to not really love uncertainty. Um, and, and to take that a step further, uncertainty, if you intensify it a bit, is, un, is being unsafe, is the idea of having, not having safety. And one of the key components of feeling happy is to feel safe. And so most people uh, will sacrifice the unlimited potential 
as long as they can feel safe and therefore happy. So my proposal to you right now is that we're living in a period of time where we're asked to relinquish our need for these all-powerful sky gods who control our lives and send lightning and rain and thunder and who send the snow and the rain and who control the seas with humanoid whims, greed and anger and malice and lust and jealousy and all those things. We've made these gods after our own image. Now we're rapidly letting go of those the need for those kinds of gods, but once again it leaves us in a place where we don't know exactly what's next. So from my perspective, that's one of the major factors leading into the current situation. We'll talk soon in more segments about the explosion of technology and the explosion of the population. You can see how these things are all connected. One doesn't, one factor doesn't exist, uh, the progress of that factor doesn't exist without the progress of the other factors. And so it's a fascinating uh, woven tapestry we have here and I look very much forward to continuing this conversation with you. Thank you very much for joining us and we'll talk with you soon.